lot of things. A lot of people count on a lot of things. They count on their money. We count on the best doctors in the world. Amen. But the best doctors in the world lose patients every day. Amen. There's not one that we can really count on. Oh, God. And it don't matter if you got a dime or if you ain't got nothing. Come on. It don't matter if you got a great big fat bank account or if you ain't got nothing in your pocket. Amen. He's the one that we can count on. Amen. He's the one that we can put our trust in. We, we, we spend too much time putting our trust in everything else. Come on. That's the reason we got so much fear in our life. Yeah. We worry about everything. Come on. But if we really put our trust in Amen. You know, we, you know, we we say we trust, and we do. We trust him. We know that he died on Calvary for us. Come on. If we know that, yeah. Why can't we trust him for everything else? Come on. Everything else is easy. Yeah. The stripes on his back was was bad, Come but on. they didn't kill him. Yeah. And that was for our healing. Why can't we trust him for our healing? Come on. Amen. Why can't we trust him for our financial blessings? Amen. We need to put our trust in Him. Yeah. Amen. Put our trust in Jesus and like Brother Billy Fritz and Ryder Sunday morning. Put his trust in Jesus and in His Word. Word yeah. If it's written in this book, if it's, if it's a promise in this book, it's ours. It's ours. Every promise in there belongs to us, Brother Billy. Amen. If we can just believe and have enough faith and trust Him. Come on. Because everything else is going to let you down. I don't care what it is. Amen. Anything else you put your trust in, I'll let you down. Amen. Sooner or later, it will let you down. Yeah. But he won't. Come on. He won't. He'll, he'll never let us down. Brother Billy, he said he'd go with me oh. all the way to the end. Oh, hallelujah. He said he'd be he'd stick closer than a brother. Amen. That's what we got to put our trust in. Amen. That's what I got to learn to put more trust in. Not trust in man, but trust in Jesus. Amen. I got and then, and there's nothing wrong with having confidence. We need to have confidence in one another. There's nothing wrong with having confidence in the doctor. You better have a little bit of confidence if you're gonna lay down like got you open. Amen. <clears throat> but your trust better be in Jesus. Amen. Your trust better be in Jesus. You need to have confidence in your pastor. Come on. But your trust. <laughs> Come on. Better be in the one he's preaching Amen. about. Amen. The trust better be in Jesus. Amen. That's what's going to get us to. Amen. Amen. So, he, so he didn't give us the spirit Come of on. fear. No, he didn't. No. The Bible says in 2 Timothy 7, 2 Timothy 1 and 7. Oh, hallelujah. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but a power and a love and a sound mind. Amen. Most people that ain't got a sound mind is the kind of people. Yeah. And we want to blame it on everything else. We want to take all kinds of pills for it. But most usually it's just fear. Yeah. Because they know that they, most of them know because they know that they ain't where they ought to be with God. Yeah. And if you ain't where you ought to be with God, you better have some fear. Yeah. Amen. We need to get closer to Him. But He didn't give us the spirit of fear. He gave us the spirit of sound mind. Amen. Amen. We can put our trust in Him. Yeah. In the 14th chapter of John, it says, Let not your heart be troubled. Yeah. Let's turn over real quick. If you believe in God, believe also in me. Amen. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go and prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there you may be also. And where I go, you know, and the way you know. And Thomas was like us. Yeah. Said unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou go, and how can we know the way? And Jesus, and Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me. He's the only thing we put our trust Amen. in. Amen. 
He's the only thing that can put us right. He's the only way. That's the only way we're going to get there. He said, cast all your cares upon me. I care for you. We can, we can take everything. We don't have to fear for nothing, Brother Billy. Yeah. We need to cast all our cares upon him. Put our trust in God and Jesus and in his word. Amen. If we'll put our trust in his word, amen, we can make it through. Why do we fear so much? When we ain't got nothing to fear. Come on. Me and Nancy was talking the other night. And she asked me, she said, are you scared to die? I said, no. She said, well, I am. <laughs> she said, she's scared of the unknown. But the reason I'm not, I'm not, I'm not scared to die. If God called me home tonight, because I don't, I don't know work, I don't know everything about what takes place when you go out in death, but I do know what his word said. I know that I know that I know where I'll be, Sister Reese. Amen. I haven't got that fear of dying. Because I, I know if, if I leave this world tonight, I'll wake up in glory. Amen. Because I'm putting my trust in his word. I'm putting my trust in him. I'm putting my trust in what he done on Calvary. Amen. And that's where we got to lay our trust. It's all in Jesus. Amen. We can trust him at his word. Yeah. In Mark, the fifth chapter, he was talking about well, Mark 4th chapter. <laughs> and the 35th verse, he said, And the same day when the evening had come, he said unto them, Let us pass over to the other side. He was talking to his disciples and a bunch of folks is getting ready to cross the sea. Getting ready to go in the boat. He told them not to fear. He didn't, tell them, he didn't really tell them what he said. And in the same day when the evening had come, he said unto them, Let us go pass over to the other side. And as they got in their ships and started out, Jesus went down and went to sleep. But then the storms came, Brother Billy, and started raving and, and rocking the ship yeah. and fear come on all of them. They couldn't drown. The devil couldn't drown them no matter what. Because Jesus had done spoke, let us pass over to the other side. They was headed to the other side. Amen. Oh. They was going to get there if the wind had to blow them over. They wasn't going to, there ain't no way they could drown if they wanted to drown. They was going to the other side because he said, let us go yeah. to the other side. We could trust him. They, just oh. like they, they could have put, the, just put their trust in him. Amen. He said, let us go to the other side. And when they had sent away the multitude, they took him, even as he was, into the ship, and there was also with him other little ships. And there rose a great storm and the winds and the waves beat in the ship so that it was full. And he was in the hidden part of the ship asleep on a pillow. And they awakened him and said unto him, Master, careth thou not that we perish? And he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. And he said unto them, Why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? See? Why are you so fearful? Come on. Why is it we have so little faith? He said, we're going to, and Brother Billy, why am I so scared? What am I scared of? Because yeah. he said, if I hang on to him, and I on to what he done at Calvary. And if I prayed and I've asked him to come into my life and I've repented of my sins, why am I fear? I've got nothing to fear. Because I've done, I done what he told me to do, and he'll do what he said he'd do. Amen. Amen. He'll take care of me. He'll get me through. Amen. And they was headed on to this other side. Brother Billy, I, I believe upon my heart, if I was the only person, Jesus would have died on Calvary. Come on. For me. I've heard people say, well, that's crazy. But he was headed to this other side for one man. Yeah. Come on. Let's go on in the fifth chapter. And they came on to the other side of the sea in the country of... How do you spell that, brother? Galileans. Galileans. And when he was come out of the ship, immediately there met him one out of the tombs, a man with unclean spirit. Yeah. Now, Brother Billy, he wouldn't, that's the reason the devil tried to stop him from getting there. And he wasn't going over for the man with the big paycheck. He wasn't going over for the man with the big bank account and one could 
the kid of benefit his ministry the most, he was going to work out for a man that was demon possessed. Amen. A man that the whole country had done turned their back on. Yeah. Amen. They done put him out and put him in the. Well, let's read the book. Who had his dwelling among the tombs, and no man could bind him, bind him, no, not with chains, because that he, he had been off the bound with feathers and chains, and the chains <coughs> had been plugged by him, and the feathers broke in pieces, neither could any man tame him. And always, always nights and day he was in the mountains and in the tombs, crying and cutting himself with stones. Now this man had it bad. Amen. But that's the one that he was headed for the other side for. Amen. That's the one. There was somebody. There was somebody that was crying out in the tombs. Oh, hallelujah. There was somebody that had somebody had a need, Brother Billy. Come and on. Jesus went out of his way yeah. and got into the ships and headed to the other side Come for on. a man that was demon possessed. Amen. He wasn't headed for the ones that kept giving the big bank Amen. account. Honey. He was headed for the one that needed him. Amen. Amen. That was going to put his trust in him. Yeah. But when he saw Jesus. And far off he ran and worshipped him. And cried with a loud voice and said, What have I to do with thee, Jesus, thy son of the most high God? I judge to you by God that doth torment me. For he said unto him, Come out of the man, thy unclean spirit. Yeah. And he asked him, What is his name? And he answered and said, My name is Legion, for we are many. Amen. And he brought him much that he would not send them away out of the country. See, these, he took his demons yeah. out of the man and put them into a herd of hogs. Yeah. And the herd of hogs got so wild and violent over these spirits that was in them. Run off a cliff into the sea and choked us up Amen. and drowned. Yeah. But then what happened with all these people in this country, if you'll read the whole, the whole story, you know, all these people in the country, they come. Yeah. And they told Jesus, we don't want you here. Come on. We want you to go on us. See, Jesus ain't going to, if you don't want him, honey, he ain't going to stay. Amen. They said, we don't want you here. You don't, you don't kill all our hogs. Yeah. You know, he got this man in his right, the Bible says he got in his right mind and he was clothed. I mean, you know, he got this man in his right mind. And then the Bible said, and when they seen him, yeah. when they seen this man that was in his right mind, Brother Bill, Come on. and clothed, yeah. they was afraid. They were afraid, yeah. <clears throat> I guess they wasn't afraid of him when he was up there in the tomb and cutting himself with rocks and screaming all night and day. They didn't have no fear of him again, but they, but they was fear of him because. Well, then Jesus done clean you up. Yeah. But they didn't want no part of it. So they told Jesus to leave. And Jesus oh. left. He won't hang around if you don't want him. Yeah. But that lets me know, Brother Billy, when he was crossing that sea and the winds were blowing and the ships were rocking, he was headed for one person. Come on. Did nobody else want him, Brother Billy? But he, there was one that was crying and, and, and needed an answer, amen, that would put their trust in him, amen. There was one and he hit it for that one person. Come on. If he done it for that one, he'll do it for me. Yeah. <clears throat> he'll do it for you. Amen. If don't nobody else want to worship him, don't nobody else need him. Come on. If don't nobody else need any help. Don't need no deliverance. Honey, if you're the one that needs it, and you're the one that cries to you, I don't care if you're sitting around a bunch of, a bunch of them, he'll come yeah, to you, yeah, amen. Yeah. He'll make a trip to you, even though the rest of them don't want it. If the rest of them don't want deliverance, if the rest of them don't want healing, if the rest of them don't want salvation, if you want it, he'll come to you, amen. If you want it, if you'll cry out to him, he'll make a way, and he'll be there. Amen. He'll come. Yeah. Amen. Amen. But they told him to get out. They didn't want him. So Jesus departed. And when he departed, let me find out where I need to go. 
21st verse. And when Jesus was passed over again by ship unto the other side, much people gathered unto him, and he was nigh unto the sea. And behold, there came one of the rulers of the synagogue, <coughs> Jarvis by name, and when he saw him, he fell at his feet and besought him a, a greater saying, my, my little daughter lies at the port of death. I pray thee come and lay thy hands on her that she may be healed and she shall live. And Jesus went with him and, and many people followed him and thrust him. Now there was one waiting for him. Amen. The rest of them didn't want him. Yeah. They sent him away. So he got in the ship and went to the other side again, Brother Billy. Come on. And there was one waiting for him. Amen. There was one wanting some help. Amen. Yeah. There was one that had a daughter that was unto death. Amen. Getting Amen. ready to die. Yeah. And he come to him. But as Jesus was going with him to her house, yeah. there come a woman by. Oh, hallelujah. A woman with the issue of blood. Ah, my, my, my. She's had it for 12 years. Yeah. And seen all the doctors and tried all her money. Yeah. Spent everything she had. And wasn't getting no better but brother her Yeah. Amen. But then she heard about a man named Jesus. Oh, somebody God. told her that there was somebody that she could put her trust in. Come on. There's, you don't try to put your trust in your money. You don't try to put your trust in your doctor. But there's one that you can really put your trust in. If you put your trust in him, he can heal you. Yeah. And, and when see faith come by here and here by the word of God. When they spoke in words, they built her faith up inside her. And she knew that she could get to Jesus. If she, the Bible says if she knew that she could just touch the hem of his garment, Amen. she'd be made whole. Yeah. So she pressed her way through the crowd. And Jesus was on the way to this other man's house. Yeah. But she pressed her way through the crowd and she touched his garment. And she was made whole. Because her faith made whole. Because she put her trust in him. We can put her trust in Jesus. Yeah. I'm telling you, church, she tried to put her trust in the doctors. Come on. That's it. Got, we, we ain't got no insurance. We ain't got the money. And we ain't got the doctors, but I'm going to put my trust in him. I'm putting my trust in Jesus. He's the one that can heal. Uh, if he wants a healer to a doctor, he'll make a way that I can get a doctor. Amen. I'm going to put my trust in Jesus. Amen. But if we'll put our trust in him, everything's going to be all right. Amen. That's what this woman does. She put her trust in Jesus. Yeah. And touched his garment, and she was made whole. Amen. Then Jesus went on. Thirty-fifth verse. While he yet spake, there came from the ruler of the synagogue house a certain which said, "Thy daughter is dead. Why trouble thy the master any further?" Now Jesus done took time out, yeah, and stopped. And this woman got healed. <clears throat> Maybe it took too much time, brother Billy. Come on. This woman died. I didn't, the servant comes in there. Your daughter's dead. Yeah. You done been gone too long. Come on. Ain't no sense of trouble in the master no longer. Ain't no, ain't no sense of talking to him no more and just let him go on back his way or whatever. And then ain't no sense. But this man was putting his trust in Jesus. Amen. Come on. And as soon as Jesus heard the words, that was spoken, he said unto the ruler of synagogue, Be not afraid, only believe. Yeah. Be not afraid. Come on. Just put our belief and put our trust in him. Amen. Amen. And he suffered no man to follow him, except Peter and James and John, the brother of James. And he came came to the house of the ruler of synagogue and said, Determined him them that were weeping and wailing and greatly, he come to the funeral. <clears throat> they was already crying and having a funeral. Amen. Not an awful place. Thirty nine. And when he was come, 
He said unto them, Why make you this ado? And weeping. The Daniel is not dead, but is sleeping. Yeah. And they laughed at him. To scold him. But when he had put them out, all out, Come on. he took the father and the mother of the Daniel and them that were with him and entered in where the Daniel was, was laying. So he had to get them out. Yeah. That's what we got to do. Come on. We got to get out the fear. Come on. We got to get out that unbelief. Come we got to get out that doubt. Amen. Yeah. And, and, and just put all our trust in Jesus. Amen. Amen. We spent too much time doubting. And, I, and I, I'm, I'm one of the world's worst. Says Teresa. I don't doubt that God will move for you. Come on. I don't, I don't, I don't have problems, Brother Billy, pray for somebody else. I believe God will answer yeah. them prayers. My doubt comes when I need something. Come on. Amen. Because I feel like I'm unworthy. Come on. And we all are unworthy. Yeah. Except by the blood of Jesus. Amen. When he died on Calvary, honey, he made it worthy. Amen. Amen. And if we'll put our trust in him. Come on. And stand on his word. And he, he's going to fulfill his word. Yes, he is. Amen. His word is going to be fulfilled. Amen. He's going to have a people. Come on. He's going to have a people, Brother Billy, that's going to stand for him. Come on. He's going to have a people that's going to trust him and Come believe on. in him. Amen. Yeah. And, 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 and trust his word and stand upon his word. Amen. And he, took, and he took the devil by the hand and said unto her, and I keep pronouncing them words, which had been interpreted of Daniel, I say unto you, yeah. arise. arise. Amen. All because they put a trust <coughs> in Amen. Jesus. Amen. Amen. They, they got rid of their fear and put their trust in Jesus. Amen. Come on. Turn with me to Matthew. Twenty-first chapter and the twenty-first verse. And Jesus answered and said unto them, "Very I say unto you, if you have faith and doubt not, you shall not only do this, this which is done unto the fig tree, but also if you shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, it shall be done. And all things whatsoever you shall ask in prayer." Believe it, you shall receive. That's his word. Amen. If we have faith <coughs> and doubt not, we can put our trust in Jesus. If we'll put our trust in his word and our trust in him, he'll see us through. I think Brother Billy read this Sunday morning in Psalms 27 chapter. First verse says, The Lord is my life and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is my strength of my life, and of whom shall I be afraid? Amen. Got nothing to fear, nothing to be afraid of, but ability if we'll put our trust in Him. Come on. If we we'll just believe what He said. Honey, when you got saved, you had to believe. And that's harder to believe than any of the rest of it. Come on. It's harder for me to believe that a king would step out of glory. And come and die on an old tree for me. <coughs> That's harder for me to believe than to believe that he took the stripes on his back for my healing. All we gotta do is believe it and receive it, Brother Billy. And trust his word. Stand on his word. I believe it's true. Amen. I believe this is the true word of God. From front to back. Amen. And I believe if I stand and trust his word, <coughs> it'll it'll work. Amen. It'll work. Yeah. When the doctors say there ain't no hope, there's hope. Amen. But I'm telling you, church, it ain't over. I don't care what the doctors say until Jesus says it's over. Amen. I'm not leaving this world until he says it's time to go. I've heard doctors say, well, you got six months to live. Yeah. They don't know if you got to tomorrow to live. <coughs> Amen. Only yeah. Jesus knows that. Amen. Amen. I put my trust in him. we got to learn to put our trust in him. Of richer or poor, Brother Billy, it don't matter if you got money. Or if you're demon possessed. Yeah. If you'll cry out to him. Come on. He'll come. Amen. He'll come. If, if, if he has to come from the other side of the ocean, if he has to come from to another country for you, he'll come. Come on. If he'll cry out. Amen. If he'll believe. 
Have you any for search for him? We can stand Amen. on God's word. We can stand Amen. on his truth. Amen. That's what the Lord gives me. I give the Lord every word. Good.